Hello guys, Henry with Shooting Star here and welcome to another episode of Shooting Star TV. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the bonehead dynamic and what would uh, be the best uh, GoPro mounting options to go with it. Uh, since it's a fair, um, fairly a new helmet, a uh, new design uh, overall compared to the bonehead arrow which is uh, a little bit similar um but uh many differences in there since it doesn't have let's say a chin that you can add a chin uh chin mounted or front mounted uh gopro mount uh there's other options that you can use with uh, bonehead dynamic so first um would be the grill fav gopro mount the uh, gfx for the arrow so the mounts that we're looking at uh, will work for uh, the bonehead arrow as well since the the shell curves are, are very similar and uh, it will work perfectly so this uh, the GFX uh, has a cutaway system integrated so you can use that and uh, with any size on the uh, dynamic it will work perfectly so you can see there is no gap in between that right there the shell and the mount so the Grell Fab GFX for the bonehead arrow will work with the dynamic. Also with a cutaway system is a Collatec the Rock camera mounting kit, which um, uh, it's also you need to um, on these two options with the Grell Fab and the Collatec you have to drill the shell to be able to mount them. Uh, but uh, it will work on any size of the dynamic, as you can see there. You might as well want to um, measure around eight to nine centimeters from the edge of the helmet to the back in between the two side mechanisms to place your, your mount properly. That way, once you open up your visor, the visor is going to go all the way and it's not going to be on, in, your, on your, in your line of sight. So take that into, into consideration when, you, when you're drilling the helmet to install the mount. So the Kletek will work on any size on the uh, um, Dynamic. Uh, again, it has a, collet, um, has a cutaway system. The Rock, um, I'm sorry, the Rock does not have a, uh, has a cutaway system but uh, you do need to um, drill the helmet to be able to install it uh, so take that into consideration and with the uh, with the rock you can uh, adjust the angle as you can see there you can adjust the angle by uh, undoing that little screw there putting your desired angle and then just making it tight so it stays in place so that way um, uh, if you know you bump your head on exit uh, it's, that camera's not going to move anywhere uh, so Coletec, the rock will work with the uh, dynamic but um, it has to be the rock for the arrow all of these options are for the bonehead arrow so it will work with the dynamic another one which is not made for the bonehead arrow but it will work uh, it's the um, the, the skulls um, GoPro mount. Uh, this is the newest one. The newest one from Skulls, and uh, it also you can regulate the angle, adjusting that there. You can adjust the uh, the angle where you want the camera. This one is for Hero Eight, but there are also uh, options for the Hero Five, Six, and Sevens on this model. And um, basically, these no uh, drilling is required. Just stick them out, stick it up top, and that's it. Also with these. Take in, take in consideration when you're flipping your helmet off because um, once you peel these they stick there and uh, it's really hard to get them off so that way you measure first and place your your um your mount in the, in the proper way uh, and adjust the angle so take that into consideration around eight to nine centimeters uh, the bonehead uh, dynamics visor is really long as you can see uh, compared to others like the Kuri G3, G4s and other helmets. So take that into consideration. Again, once we open our visor, uh, normally, you know, it, it doesn't matter if we have a camera on and off. Uh, some prefer, you know, the camera off. But yeah, take that into consideration. You can flip the visor all the way up and then place your, your mount and that way you know all, uh, how far it's going to be. Uh, and then, you know, just mark it and place it in there. 
that way you have an idea you know how uh, and this is fully open so it, with that with the dynamic you have you have no problems there uh, you just have to take that and uh, keep that in mind so uh, these are the options that you can use with the bonehead dynamic pretty much the grail fab dfx works with the uh, bonehead arrow and the collect tech the rock um, camera mount kit works with the arrow and with the dynamic uh, the grail fab has a cutaway system the uh, the rock from collect tech does not uh, and uh, uh, the skulls does not have a cutaway system but is a all, all of these are uh, snag uh, resistant or snag free options um, with the uh, with the uh, GFX mount you can mount any type of GoPro it's no it's not GoPro specific uh, so um, you can mount whatever model of GoPro it doesn't matter if it's an older model session here 5 4 uh, 3 4 5 6 7 and the new 8 and even the new um, uh, the 360 camera the max so you can with this one you can mount any GoPro camera on your uh, bonehead dynamic or bonehead arrow with a cutaway uh, system included so that's for uh, what mounts you can use with your bonehead uh, dynamic if you have one if you haven't ordered one we have them in stock these are pretty cool super light helmets nice um, and uh, you can find them at shootingstar.com if you have any questions um, just shoot us an email to gear at shootingstar.com or give us a call and we'll be happy to ask and answer any, any of your questions. All right. All right, guys. Hope you liked it. Stay safe and I'll see you later.